Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm making this piece and how I'm constructing it and putting it together. So what I'm doing is, since it's all these separate little patchworks, to organize the composition, I'm actually just using masking tape to pop them up here. But that's not what's going to hold the piece up in the gallery. That's not, to me, an archival, you know, sturdy, long-term solution. It's going to get pins in it around different areas. But to connect each piece together, I'm collaging it with gel medium and string gel. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I have the gel medium, which I like. In fact, I'm using heavy gel medium. It's um, because it's thick like a paste. So I have this piece here that I haven't secured yet. It's just, it's connected over here. I already um, glued it over here. But what I'm going to do is, and you can come up close and see this, I'm going to just put little dabs in there. And it's, there's enough of an overlap that I'm going to get a good seal here. Okay. And I'm going to press it. And now some pops out, which I'm actually kind of doing on purpose because I'd rather have too much than too little because it really, this is a big piece and it needs to all hold together really well. So I have a way to deal with that. I take a cotton rag, clean cotton rag, and I just press and I kind of wipe, wipe it. And you know, this looks white, but it's a gel medium and it will dry perfectly clear. That's just how the acrylic mediums look when they're wet. Now I've wiped almost all of that off, so it's good to go. Um, so I'm just going to go and all these, I'll do the same thing with those. And then what I've decided to do, so this area has already been, been glued, you know, and there's little, this is popping up a little. What I want to do to create sort of a more unified field is put a glaze of string gel over this. And I'm choosing string gel because it's got this honey like consistency and I'm going to grab a soft brush. This is a good one. It's gotten a little crusty. I'm going to have to do a major clean out on this brush, but this is a good one to start. So I'm just going to dab a little in here and see how thick that is. So it's good when I'm working vertically on this. It's not going to drip down so much, but it will and get a thick layer. So I'm just going to brush this on. And again, it looks a little kind of milky. And I'm really, I don't need to do it over the whole thing. I just want to do it over sort of the seams to give them a little bit of more of a unified thing going on. So, and then also I can, on areas where it's not glued, I can kind of dab it on there and seal those down. So I need to just go over every single seam, so to speak. By seam, I mean where two separate collage pieces join together. And I'm just going to go over and watch what's happening. It's kind of leveling out, so it's not going to keep those brush strokes. But this is why I like the soft brush for that. In fact, I think that brush has gotten a little crusty from doing this hard labor. I'm going to take a fresh brush because this one's a little softer and hopefully get. See, now that's already started to level out a little bit. I'm going to try this. So I'm really loading the brush a lot. And then I'm dragging it across in a way that a lot of gel gets deposited and I'm holding the brush at a low angle. So when I hold the brush um, directly perpendicular, that's when I get the least coming off of the brush and the most visible brush stroke. I don't know if you can see that in this light. But um, w there's a lot of brush stroke and very little material. When I load the brush up and hold it, and sort of drag it across. Then I'm getting a nice kind of creamy layer. I don't know, like some maple syrup on pancakes or something. <laughs> and um, yeah, and that'll dry nice and smooth. But it's not going to drip much because this is so thick. And so that's why I chose this gel. So even though it says string gel, I don't have to make strings with it. I can use it for whatever I please. And that's how I'm doing this.